Hi, welcome to this tutorial today for the ultimate shooting system on the Unreal Marketplace. Uh, with that said, I'm going to go and get into it. Uh, this is just a visual documentation. So with that said, the first thing that you want to do in order to install it and activate it in your project is you want to go to Edit, Plugins, and then under here it's in my project, but you probably would have it under Installed. Go to Ultimate Shooting System and just make sure it's enabled. It might ask you to restart the editor. If it does, just go and do that and then come back to the video. So once you have that installed, the next thing you want to do is this can work in a character, a blueprint, or an actor, a pawn, etc. It uh, doesn't really matter. Is you want to go into your character, actor, whatever, and you want to click Add Component and type in Ultimate Shooting. Ultimate Shooting right here. And I've already got it in there, so I'm not going to worry about uh, adding it again. Um, and and then the first thing, the second thing you want to do is you want to, wherever your barrel, wherever you're starting the shooting from, that you want to start from, you want to go to add scene, scene component, okay? And it's going to drop it in here, and I'll just call it scene. I called the other one spawn point, and now you just want to line this up to wherever the muzzle will be of your weapon in, or wherever you're spawning from. So I'm going to go and delete that, because I already have one in here. I call it spawn point, okay? And then what you need to do then is we're going to get into the nodes. So with the nodes, they have different inputs. They're all going to share similar inputs. So the general projectiles are going to have the target, which is the ultimate shooting component. They're going to have a spawn point, which is that scene component we added. And then they're going to have the skeletal mesh, or the montage mesh. And that's, for me, that's just the arms. Uh, this will be whatever one you want to play a montage on for the projectile. Uh, so you want to have the recoil animation, that's where you play it. So the, uh, the next thing that we have on the projectiles is the math override. What this will let us do is it will, if we select this, none of this math from this will work. Um, and instead you can create your own vector math, so you can spawn it however you want. Um, I'm going to turn that off. The next thing is the shooting direction. We have control rotation and forward direction. Control rotation is shooting in any direction that you're looking at. So this is typically used for 3D games. You can shoot upwards, left, diagonal, etc. Forward direction is only what's in front of the character. So just be aware of that. It's only going to be for, for forward direction, basically. Uh, typically used in 2D or top-down games. Um, so with that said, the next, all the projectiles are going to have these same, these same things. Uh, and then we're going to go over to the line trace for those inputs. So these are for the line trace. Now the line trace and the projectiles have different settings. Projectiles, you can set up your own stuff for damage, particles, whatever you want inside the projectile itself. This just fires the projectile and does the math and stuff for you. Um, so you'd set that up in the projectile. However, the line traces, uh, all the all the polish, like particles, sounds, um, decals, etc., all of that would go inside here in the line trace, and I'll show you what these do in just a second. So on the automatic line trace, we have a camera. I'm using the first person camera, which is this. However, you can set up your own just empty camera by just going to camera, and then uh, just move it wherever you want, over here, whatever. Um, you would want to line this up to where your crosshair would be on the, on the screen for the HUD. Then we also have the spawn point, which is the same thing over here. We also have the mesh 1P, same over here. So they share a lot of the similar stuff. It's just on the line trace, you need the camera. And this is the automatic line trace. So it will start, and it'll start firing automatically. And then it'll stop, which I'm going to show you real quick. So if we go here, you can see I'm firing. Um, and that's going to fire a whole bunch of them. And this is going to be fire speed 0.1, so that's really fast. If you want to be a little slower, you could do 0.2 or 0.3 or so forth. This is all in seconds. So if you want to do fractions of a second or if you want to spawn in ones a second, you would do one, etc. Um, actors to ignore is any actor you want the line trace to ignore. So in this case, I want it to ignore self, um, which is this character. If you want it to ignore other things, you can add it here with an add array pin. Um, I'm going to remove that array pin. So the inputs are the same on all of the line traces, except for the fire speed. That's only for the automatic. Okay, so they're all going to be the same. Now, I'm going to show you what these look like real quick in the editor before we get into the uh, defaults. So this is pr perfect projectile. 
always going to line up with where you want to go. This is uh, just general control rotation projectile. We'll, uh, I don't have the projectile speed as fast as perfect, but that's all right. Um, this is the single shot projectile, I believe. Let me double check there. Uh, this is one. This is fire shotgun projectile. So in order to use fire shotgun projectile, you need to go down here. You need to add a little bit of recoil. I'll do 0 0.05. And then I will add some shotgun bullets here, 16. Okay, good. Make sure on the shotgun that you have uh, recoil added. Why is it not firing? Uh, it is, did it save the recoil? No, it did not. So we need to set the recoil. There we go. Now it will fire a shotgun, as you can see, fire the shotgun bullets. Um, and that's the shotgun there, shotgun projectile. We also have the uh, fire single shot, which I showed you, and we have automatic projectile, which is two. This is fire single shot, uh, automatic projectile. Okay, and then we have the fire single shot line trace, which is three. Now, one thing to note is that um, the line trace does have projectiles, but they're more bullet tracers. They don't do anything on their own. Um, so you'd have your own actor class for that. And I'm going to go into the projectiles and the, actor and the bullet tracers and stuff in just a second. And then we have the fire line trace, which is four. We have the fire line trace, as you can see, fire line trace. And then we also have the, we already went over this. So now I'm going to go into the defaults panel so and go over what all of these are. So all these nodes have settings in them, and there are different settings per category. So in the ultimate shooting, that's where you set them. So in the case of um, single shot projectile, that would be projectile to spawn, and then we can set it scale to 0 0.2 or 1 or 3 or whatever you want. And then I'm going to go over what grenade is in just a second as well. Uh, for a general, these are typically polish or like VFX or sound effects or that kind of stuff. Um, so here we could add a muzzle flash, we can change the scale, sound, um, we can add camera shake, we can change the recoil amount. Now do be aware that all of these have a tooltip, so if you ever ho hover over the name, it will tell you what they do. And it will even give recommended ranges for some of these. Uh, shooting montage, etc. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go over them. Um, this It also has physics symbol, so if you shoot something with a physics, so like, uh, which one is the line trace? Uh, five. So if we go to five, we can actually affect the physics stuff. Now, it won't do anything that doesn't have physics, but anything that does have physics will be affected. So that's the general damage system. What this does is if you're not familiar with Unreal Engine's damage system or you're not using it, you can just tick this off and you won't have to worry about it. Um, if you are using Unreal Damage System, it's pretty much the same as the Apply Damage node. You just have the damage type, the base damage you want to do, and it's basically the same as the Apply Damage, but you don't have to set that up yourself. Uh, the other thing is the shotgun bullet amount. We can do something like 50 or whatever we want. Um, uh, which one is it? There we go. So we have like 50 bullets. So that's what we can do with that. Basically, just sets how many uh, shotgun bullets we want. The line trace channel is the the channel that you want the uh, line traces to go by. I recommend keeping it on visibility. However, you can set up your own line trace channels in the project setting. I'm not going to go over that, um, but you can set up your own line trace channels for something like a projectile if you want. Um, in this case, we're doing visibility just because we want it to interact with world static, pond, camera, etc. Um, and visibility is blocked by all of those, so it'll work. And then we have draw debug duration. This is pretty simple. Just change the length of it, and that red line trace will uh, stay for longer. And after three seconds, it will disappear. For the bullet tracer projectile, that's the thing we're spawning. Um, this is also for the perfect projectile. Be, be aware of that. Um, it will spawn the projectile here. So with that said, that's basically all the uh, settings under details or defaults. Okay, now let's get into the grenade shrapnel.
I was, I was telling you about that earlier right here. So this is what you, you would use this inside a grenade projectile or a grenade actor. So I have one under projectile in the content folder. And if we go to BP grenade, basically it, shoot, it does the shrapnel explosion and then destroys it. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second so you have a visual representation. So we'll do uh, grenade, where is it, right here. And now it's going to do a shrapnel simulation right there, as you can see, hits us. Um, and you can change the, all the variables about this. Um, that's basically a shrapnel simulation. So in the grenade, you can change all these settings. Each one has a tool tip to help you figure out what it is. Um, so I'm not going to go over too much what they are. You can just use the tool tip for them. Uh, and it'll play all these and make it really polished. And then it also works with the damage system. So if you have damage system on, it'll do damage. If you have it off, it won't do damage. That is basically all of how to use the uh, ultimate shooting system. If you have any questions, I have a Discord. I'll link it below. It's also on the store page, um, and I can help you there with more support. Thank you.